Hey, welcome to the channel, everybody. This is the Redbeard Grind, and I'm Redbeard. I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark reseller, and I post videos of what I sold every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Just showing you what I sold um, so that you can maybe learn some of these brands and go, go find this stuff and make some money yourself if you're trying to do that on uh, eBay or Poshmark or Depop, Macari, wherever you sell. Uh, so yesterday was the 15th. I'm just going to jump right into it. I did 16 sales yesterday. I uh, did $681 total in sales. So it was a good day. Um, I had I got like insult some expensive things. That's kind of why it was a really good day uh, above average for me. Um, so let's do this. Uh, if you like this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up so you don't miss a video. And um, if you want to join the Facebook group, or you should join the Facebook group, group join it. Uh, it's in the description below. You can find it. And uh, we've got a we've got a small community there. We just share bolos, information, answer questions, stuff like that. If you need somewhere to vent, to get information or help, whatever you want, come over there and, and check us out. <clears throat> and let's do this. So number one, number one, I I took an offer of ninety eight bucks for this. This is uh, Ankyo receiver. I've had this thing for I don't know seven, eight, nine years. I don't even use it anymore. So. Like I'm just going to sell it. So my cost of goods is considered zero. Um, electronics do really well. You can find a ton of electronics uh, at Goodwill and Salvation, but make sure you test them before you you um, buy them. You can always plug stuff in at, at Salvation or Goodwill. Um, or make sure you know that you're, you're willing to sell it as untested or or for parts and still make money. I buy, I've bought electronics for parts and still made a killing on the profit margin. Um, another tip for finding electronics, and I need to get back into doing this. I did this like three years ago when I first started. I was on Virage Cell and just getting all the electronics locally, uh, and you can pretty much negotiate heavily. You can you can bring people down like, hey, you know, like offer them 40%, 50% off what they're asking and um, go pick it up that day and get your inventory. You don't have to pay for shipping or anything. And I was making a killing. I think I bought all the electronics in the area because I did it so much that there wasn't much left to pick from. But the cool thing is you can comp it. You can see what the sell-through rate is, see what it's selling for, and then go back and negotiate a price that you want um, so you can protect your profit margin. But electronics do really well. Not all of them, but there's some good brands, there's some great brands, and there's some really bad brands. Um, Ankyo's a really good one. Speakers, too, like speakers, any, any electronic, really. Used phones, old phones, all that stuff you got laying around, consider putting it up. Now, this one did, um, it cost me... $39 to ship. So it ate into my profit a lot because I only got 17. No, it was 34 bucks to ship. So I, I way under, uh, underestimated how much it would cost to ship, but that's all right. It just takes away from my profit, but, uh, don't pass up electronics. Um, and don't be afraid to ship stuff. All right. The next, this next one talking about shipping stuff is my DeWalt lawnmower. DeWalt is a great brand to sell. And, um, any of all the tools they do well, I, I, I have a lot of DeWalt tools, and I've sold them in the past four or five weeks, pretty much all of them. Um, they almost fly off the shelf. They go for nice money. They hold their value. I sold this for 100 I took an offer. It was like, um, I think it was 116 116 no batteries. Um, I put that it does not include the batteries. The guy's going to come over and pick it up today. So this is one of those situations where I put the shipping was pickup only because it's big, and I didn't feel like boxing it up or shipping this. Um, it would cost too much to ship it. I actually had another guy in another state say, hey, I'll buy it if you ship it to me. I'm like, go buy a new one because you're going to pay too much in shipping. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're right. But uh, this is just a lawnmower. I haven't used it a ton. And uh, I got a weed eater also that I, I loaded up and uh, a lamp that's super fragile. I listed that. I think I put three or 400 bucks for it on there. Um, but um, I don't want to ship it because I don't want it to break. So it's just pickup only. You can sell pickup only stuff uh, on eBay. If you weren't aware of that, now you're not going to get the, the crowd, you know, they're just going to have, you're just going to find people in your area. So you can put it on Facebook marketplace, Virage Cell. If you don't know about Virage Cell, check it out. It's V, it's like Garage Cell, but it's Virage. You can find tons of good deals and negotiate. It's um, pretty cheap stuff. Okay, so this is a Hugo Boss um, wool coat that I found at the bins. My cost of goods is three bucks. I listed this September 26th and it's out of here. It's sold fast. Um, for almost $80. And at the bins, I'm able to find a lot of different coats like this, um, a lot of wool coats. The only thing is they're a pain in the ass to clean. You have to um, somehow clean them. I've got like a dryer, a dry cleaning kit that I use, but 
getting all the hair and fuzz off these things. Uh, I think I worked on this jacket, I'm not kidding, for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, just to get it in shape to, to be able to sell. So it's I don't like that part of it. If I had an employer or something, I'd have them do that for me. But the profit was really great. At the bins, you can find stuff for really cheap. Um, like I said, this was 3 bucks for me, a fast turnaround, and I got $80 plus $8 shipping. It's out of here. Um, well, let me show. I'll show you the logo. If you Hugo Boss is not like something I'm after, um, but uh, maybe one of these. If you run across one of these coats for nine or ten bucks at the um, at Goodwill and it's in good shape, you don't have to clean it. Um, maybe pick it up. Made in Romania, Hugo Boss. I pass up their shirts and pants and jeans all the time. I have bought some of it. All right, here's another. Another, uh, th I had this in my garage because I have two Keurigs. So I went ahead and sold this one. Um, I got so many coffee machines. But uh, this went for 25 took an offer for 25 plus uh, charged $16.99 for shipping. The shipping, I think, uh, I packed this this morning. I can't remember what it cost me to ship. I want to say it was like 9 or $10. Bucks. It, wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot. So I made some money on the shipping too. But Keurigs sell, and they sell fast. Um, you just want to clean it, make sure it's in good shape, make sure you get all the water out of it. Sometimes there will still be water inside the tank on the inside of the machine, and you can Google how to get that out. I, I Googled how to get it out because my I could hear a little bit of water in there, but I was able to get that out. Just clean them up and um, post them and list them. They're, these are at Salvation Army all the time. Sometimes there's four or five of them in a row, but you got to comp them and make sure that that style or that size sells and make sure it sells for enough money this isn't really a lot of money i would not want to pay like i usually see goodwill charging 10 15 bucks for these so um, you'd have to be in the four dollar range probably to make it worth your while and charge for the shipping be careful with the bigger stuff with shipping if you're not if you're not used to the shipping uh let's see diesel darren i'm just gonna go i had like four sales on poshmark but i'm not gonna go over any of those i'm just gonna stick to ebay today um diesel jeans the darren Darren jeans. I sold these for, I think, 35 Took an offer for $35. Um, and uh, Diesel is a great brand. I pick these up all the time. This is what the, the tag on most of the Diesel jeans you find will look like, but the older ones won't have this. This is in the waistband. Uh, it will typically have the style name and some details about the style. This is a slim tapered. You can still sell slim tapered jeans, um, even skinny fit stuff. Uh, this is the tag made in, I think it's made in Italy. Let's see. No, nope, made in Morocco. But this is their typical tag here, the sizing tag. And then if you don't have this information, because you have a different pair, like an older pair, if you will look on the back of this tag, it will often have a MOD, meaning model, and then the name. It would have the name Darren right next to it. That way you can use that keyword in your title. You definitely want the name of the gene that you have uh, from Diesel because it's going to sell faster because no, people know exactly what they're looking for. Um, that being said, I have sold several where I could not find the name or the style. And I just described diesel jeans, boot cut, you know, mid rise, and they still sell, they still sell for a decent amount of money too, but it's just always better to use that keyword if you have it. All right, moving on. What else we got? Anything else? G star raw. So these four looks like, uh, 30, almost 32 bucks. These have been listed for a while. G star raw is a, it's okay to me. I, I've sold these plenty of times. This is a button up, uh, button fly. This is the tag on the inside. You can see G Star Raw here on the coin pocket. Um, and their tags, there's all the information. Their tags will sometimes have like the name of the gene or the style. Here's the length. Uh, yeah, blades. So this is the blades tapered, which uh, I didn't even use in my title. I should have. I didn't see that. I think that's what that is. Blades tapered. It's got to be the, like a description of the genes. I should have used that. And my title. Um, and then there's G Star Raw here. So they logo pretty heavily. That's worn out, but it does say G Star Raw. Just a it's a decent brand. Um, if you can find the 3D G Star Raw, those sell way better and they sell fast and they sell for more money. The 3D ones are the ones with the legs that kind of look like they're curving in and um, they'll scrunch up on your legs. Often they have zippers and pockets all over them or distressing all over them. Um, those will go for like 45 to 70 bucks. Uh, the last pair I sold went for, I want to say 60 or 70 bucks and they sold fast. Uh, those are the ones I'm usually after when I see G star raw, just plain, plain jeans. I, I comp it. 
uh, to see if that size and style was uh, moving. These sat for a little while. They've been listed since June. All right, anything good? Let's see. Vintage Rocky Mountain Top. This sold for almost 25 Oh, man, I blew that picture out. Lights are too bright. But um, this this type of pattern will always stick out to me whenever I'm at the thrift or the bends, and I will always gravitate towards it and just check the check the um, the brand to see if it's something I'm interested in. This was Rocky Mountain. I knew I wanted as soon as I saw the Made in USA. This was a Goodwill's find. I paid five ninety nine for the shirt and sold it for twenty five bucks. It's just a cool pattern. Don't pass patterns up like this. You gotta you gotta go check these patterns out. Aztec and Tribal are real big right now, especially with like uh, Western shirts and Pearl Snap shirts. Uh, so don't pass that stuff up. 25 bucks is pretty good, plus $8 shipping for a, a shirt that probably weighed four or five ounces. Probably cost me four or five bucks to ship. It's a good sale. Let's see, what else? Hmm. L.L. Bean is a pretty decent brand. I, I'm picky about what I pick up. I got this from... Goodwill for $5.99. It's in really nice shape. I like it. I said that it was orange. It looked more brown, I think, when I shipped it. So I have things come back occasionally for color. I'm thinking about just not even putting color in my listings anymore. Just put C pick. I don't know. Um, but this is a LL Bean's okay. Let me show you the there's the if you're not familiar with it. I would not go picking up everything from LL Bean, but like their little um fleece vested Best jackets and stuff uh, do pretty well. They have some outdoor equipment that do. I mean, they got plenty of stuff that does really well, but most of it's uh, not something that moves very fast. That I've I've done pretty well with uh, LL Bean flannel shirts made in the USA. When they're made in the USA, there's certain people that collect those things. Um, they didn't sell for tons of money, but um, they did sell pretty fast. Uh, actually, I had one lady come in and buy like all of the ones I had. I had four or five. She bought all of them, um, and they were like. XL or something like that. All right, let's see what else have we got. Here's a couple of things I'll just go over just to show you. So <clears throat> this was a a uh, Goodwill find. They had like a I think a four ninety nine tag on here, maybe three ninety nine. But it's a um, it's like a Bible. Uh, it, it's an audio Bible. And when when I'm at the thrift, if something has uh, an SKU code on it that I can scan, which maybe this one may have had it on the bottom or something, but when something's new in the box, I'll just scan it with uh, the eBay app. It can read the code, and it'll tell you what the sell-through rate is. This had a pretty good sell-through rate, and it was cheap. Um, so I picked it up. I sold it for 18 bucks plus $8 shipping. I think the shipping cost me like 4 bucks uh, this morning. So I made money there, and I made money here. Uh, and this sold pretty fast. I just listed it um, October 9th. So, and those are easy to scan. Like There's games that are still have the saran wrap around them. Just scan that stuff. It takes seconds. And if there's a good sell-through rate and decent decent margin on it, I pick it up and list it. Another example of that is this here. I'll show you this just to just to show you. So these are this is a Harvard Classic Deluxe Edition. I found 22 of these um, at the bins, and at the bins, books are 69 cents a piece um, when you buy more than one. So I bought all 22 for 69 cents a piece. I sold this for nine bucks plus eight dollars shipping. The shipping cost me, I think, five bucks. Um, so it's a pretty good, healthy profit margin. I just listed these uh, October tenth. This is the first one that sold. They have an okay sell through. I expect these to set for a while and just slowly sell off. But I'm turning sixty seven cents into you know thirteen, fourteen bucks coming back to me. So so not too bad. Just sharing stuff with you guys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap that up and get on to the bolo. I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video we've got a good bolo um, to go over so today's bolo is uh, mission workshop and Jeff had posted this in the Facebook group um, I appreciate it, Jeff thank you uh, if you're not a part of the Facebook group join it you're gonna miss stuff like this um, we're always like posting stuff like uh, bolos and and uh, things to go go after and find and just sharing information but so mission workshop I looked them up on on Google you can do the same they basically make um, like tech gear, the uh, high quality, high fashion stuff. So they go for a lot of money. This is this is sorted high to low. So you're looking at the best of the best. But they also, I'll show you, they have clothes. Um, they've got jackets. They do pants. They do everything. And the sell-through rate is 100% or better on almost everything you look up from this from this brand. Here's a, a fleece black. 
medium rare sold out. So, so check them out. And the, I mean, the stuff looks nice. It looks like high quality. So if you see a high quality bag, uh, it's got uh, Mission Workshop stuff on it. Pick it up. Let me show you the logos real quick. I'm going to go to the shirt since we're most of us do do um, clothes. So let's go to the shirt. Here's a a jacket. The pics aren't that great, but we'll see. Maybe we can get a logo out of it. I know the shirt has a logo. Oh, there it is. So that's their logo. It's like four X's in a row. If you see this, don't pass it up. This is uh, money. This thing sold for almost 300 bucks. And uh, the ones I've seen so far were all made in the USA. I don't know if this is made in the USA or not. Uh, but really nice looking stuff. It looks like it's really high quality. And... Um, don't pass it up. So four X's. Let's see. Let's go to another couple. We'll find. Um, and, and on their website, man, they got some really nice looking stuff. I can't afford to shop there, but would love to find used stuff and sell it. Because the Benz isn't going to know. They're not going to know this brand. They're just going to put, uh, in my area, they're going to put five ninety nine for a shirt. And then um, hopefully I can pick it up and sell it for a couple hundred. So there you go again. The X's or the, the fence looking thing. Um, let's see. Made in USA. That one's made in USA. Just a cool looking shirt. It looks like it's got some kind of, almost like some kind of pattern on it. Maybe stripe. No, I can't tell. And it looks like there's stains on that one too. Like here. Look at all that. And it still went for a crazy amount of money. Uh, here's another one. Mission Workshop. I'm just going to go over a few more and then we'll, I'll wrap up. I appreciate you hanging in there if you're still watching the video. They're, they're logoed on their button there. See, it looks it just looks like high quality stuff. It doesn't look like cheap junk. Um, and that's what they say on their website. Like they were after super high quality, but also super fashionable. And it's a lot of tech stuff. So made in the USA. So I'm assuming everything's gonna be made in the USA from this company. They haven't gone to China yet, maybe. They started in 2000, let's see, 2009. So they're they're uh, kind of young. So you get the idea. There's another shirt. If you want the cheaper stuff, let's see what, let me go, maybe I'll go to the last page. And there was not a lot of this stuff listed. There was like 150 listed and then 169 sold. So there's a puffer jacket um, for 85 bucks. And they, I bet you, you probably could have got more for that. Maybe there's some damage to it. But here's some other clothing items, all going for 70s, 80s. Like this brand is a, a home run if you find it. I mean, there's nothing like the cheapest item. Let's see. The cheapest item went for 24 bucks, And these people either didn't know what they had or there's just extensive damage to it. I would say that these would probably go for more since they're so low in price. Like he sold three of them, $10 a piece. Oh, Triple Lot. That's another good, really good brand. If you see Triple, let me show you the, I have found this one a handful of times throughout the years. It sells fast and it sells for a lot of money. So sidetrack. Two bolos, triple lot. There's the logo, triple lot design. These guys are in California, if I remember correctly. Um, and I have found some tactical shorts and some tactical pants. Oh, there's Mission Workshop too. So they're kind of the same, similar stuff, but triple lot's another good brand with a super high throw, sell through rate and sells for a lot of money. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, Make sure you get the, if you want to get the uh, the bolo list, I have a bolo at the end of every video, but I have a list of every single one of them, the all, all in one PDF. If you want that, join the Facebook group. I update it every Friday with the, the new stuff throughout the week. Um, and there's other, all kinds of other attachments there if you want to uh, get some free information. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.